What's up YouTube? Let's make a grappling hook today. So just gonna use some of this three quarter square as the body. It's gonna be like that. Then use some rebar and have them bending around like that. And then gonna be welding right here. So basically it's gonna look like something like that. <laughs> and then gonna put an eye at the bottom to loop your rope or whatever. First things first, let's straighten up this piece of square stock. God, this propane takes forever. It's a number two or a two GPN tip. I find that pretty versatile. You can still get some tight turfs on it and do some thicker stuff. When I was working at a scrap yard, we were pretty much using number three on a scrapping torch which is about four feet long uh, for even if it was precise so that kind of taught me to use a bigger tip than a lot of people like so now I'm gonna try to decide what uh, length to make these hooks so I'm just gonna take a rod real quick and I think probably gonna want it to come down probably three or so inches so I'm gonna mark that so probably just like that. See if I can do it on the other side here. So that's gonna be my angle. So with this rod as my angle finder, I'm gonna go and mark where I want it to end. Thinking probably like right there. I'm just gonna straighten it back out just to make it easier to measure because I don't have a piper up right now to get around the angle. Measure it from the end. And yeah, that's about 10, we'll just say 10 inches. So now I know where to cut my rebar at. It's gonna be 10 inches each. Now it's time to set up our jig to bend these. You could just eyeball it. I like to bend things this way. So what I'm gonna do is just take this rebar like this. I'm gonna tack that into place. Then take a little piece of angle, put it there. Of course, adjusting for the width of this. And uh, we'll go from there. So now we gotta set up where we want this. So what I'm gonna do is take this, transfer this mark like that, and then go ahead and trace this down. Really, what I should be doing is tracing the, uh, the inside here. I'm going to take this, throw this guy in there, and tack it just like that. I think I'm actually gonna go a little bit higher, just like that. That looks more right to me. Sometimes you gotta eyeball stuff, you know? The reason I'm putting this angle here is, so when I'm bending it this way, it has somewhere to, to hold, you know? Don't be afraid to tap straight to your table.
I made it so I can just line up one end here and then I'm gonna bend this around till it gets to here. And that should be the right angle. Then later on we can always mess around with it, but this is gonna be, this is real easy guys, real easy. Now, if I was a smart man, I would have made it so it was easier. I have to realize that I'm not at work where I can walk around the table because I'm in this little carport here. I have yet to build my shop. So what I'm gonna have to do is reach all the way around to bend this. Got my cheater pipe. <coughs> Fuck. <clears throat> I got my cheater pipe here. I'm gonna heat the fuck out of this and bend it right around. Next thing to do is check that it's flat. If it's not, well, it's still hot. Give it a nice tap, it should flatten right out. So, still red hot at the end. So that, okay, getting a little bit warm now, is gonna go just like that. Now we just have the three more to do. So you can see that that method gets you pretty close. Uh, you know, if you're a perfectionist, you might wanna, you know, keep, take a few extra steps. But as you can see, they're all pretty, pretty even. If you're a real welder, you know, if it's within, you know, an eighth, it, it's all right. Here. I'm gonna do it to three, three inches down. You know, maybe I shouldn't have bashed that off. This is why you never take apart your jig until you fit it up. <laughs> what a fucking idiot. What I'm gonna do is just have them like this, and well, these two flat ones, then I can position the other ones uh, however I want them. I don't really care that it's gonna be a little bit offset because we're not the same size. Ideally, I, I wanted half inch rebar, this is five eighths, but uh, I was just at Home Depot. I didn't wanna to go to the steel yard. I kinda of close early here. So they only had five eighths and that's just the way it is. You gotta deal with it. I don't know if I caught that stuff or not. The camera might have turned off. Before was that I don't really care about the heat I'm putting into this. Because I don't care if these legs warp a little bit. 
but this is a crude object here. Now if you're selling them or whatever, or you're making something that does matter, you're definitely going to want to watch the heat. I was heating this up red, glowing hot, and still welding on it. So, you know, obviously I don't really care. And I could probably get away with doing two skits, but why skip around when you can just oh wow. I love it. It ain't never gonna break on the weld. If anything, it'll bend out the arms. And this is the best this machine has ran for me. Usually it wants to cut out, but oh, it's pleasing me today. So there we go, it's starting to look like a like a grappling hook there. You can see how hot I was getting it. Now I just gotta add the loop at the end. I'm gonna let it cool down for a second. So now it's time for the eye. And to make it easier, I like to grind it down like that. I'm just using a piece of chain here. And I think I'm gonna put it kind of diagonally. And this is perfect when you have your extra little oh, things save your rod and stuff. Just do small little welds like that. Okay, now this sucker is big. So, I might end up uh, cutting, cutting this down a little bit, maybe even cutting these down, I'm not sure. But for right now, I mean, I'm pretty happy with it. The whole reason why I made this is to throw up in trees and uh, catch a branch or whatever and hook up to my truck and pull them where I want them. Got a few that are kind of precarious, but just to try to get the direction going. So it should work for that purpose. Plus it looks kind of cool to have hanging up in your shop or garage or carport or whatever. Conversation piece, hell, you could even paint it real nice and put it on your table. <laughs> Uh, but anyways guys, uh, thanks for watching. If you like the video, you know, like it or comment, or if you hated it, please let me know what I did wrong. I, I love the criticism. I thrive off of it. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, you, can, you can subscribe if you like. Thanks for watching. See you next time.